Good afternoon everybody, what's going on? Today's review has now brought us here for a much more up close and personal encounter with the newly refined 2012 Acura TL. Our review today has now brought us here to McChurchill Acura here in Fort Worth, Texas. And now, with all of that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the TL, and this does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and notable styling cues and multiple luxurious features that bestow both the exterior and interior. And so, bearing all this new information in mind, let's go ahead and climb aboard and we'll check it out. This particular TL wears the Silver Moon exterior. This particular example has also been fully upgraded with Acura's Advanced Package. And as such, it does come with Acura's standard keyless access system, which does allow complete remote free access into the vehicle along with a standard push button ignition. Gaining entry is as simple as having the key fob anywhere on your person, a prime example being here in my pocket. And as you saw just a moment ago, we've just unlocked the vehicle. And both the locking and unlocking is done through various buttons and touch sensitive areas of both the front and back of the door handle. To lock it, simply hit the small black button on the upper portion of the handle. Give it just a moment. And then to unlock the vehicle, simply grab the handle as normal. This particular TL's interior is known as taupe gray perforated premium leather. Very highly bolstered sport bucket seats. Now to start this TL with the keyless access fob, you can actually do it one of two ways. The first of which is by inserting the fob into the designated slot just to the right of the steering wheel, or by simply having the key fob anywhere within the vehicle. Either way, put your foot on the brake, then hit the red engine start button to start the engine. It's an absolutely butter smooth power plant. It comes with a signature design three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel, extremely fluid power assisted steering with a fair bit of resistance in the wheel being that our particular example has the super handling all wheel drive. It does come with various buttons for all sorts of electronic creature comforts throughout the vehicle. Very slight yet very firm moderate grip extensions, a very soft touch to the materials all the way around. and. On the lower hand portion of the steering wheel, if you can see, there's actually a slight lip that's indicating of extra padding on the lower portion of the steering wheel. This new 2012 TL now puts its power through an electronically controlled six speed automatic transmission, combined with sequential sport mode as well as full manual shiftability. Leaving it in the automatic sport mode setting as we have here, encourages the transmission to shift a little bit quicker and also delivers a much sharper throttle response. If you wish to leave it in sport mode, it will engage the gears automatically, or as I mentioned, you can go into full manual mode using the available paddle shifters here on the steering wheel, using the left one to shift down and the right one to shift up. Also, with this vehicle having the advanced package as an upgraded form of the already available technology package, it does come standard with a rear view backup camera with a full set of guidance lines. Also, as an added safety feature, you do get child protective safety locks that will automatically lock the vehicle upon detecting the vehicle's motion when it's put into gear. Also, as you can see, both the shifter knob and emergency brake handle here have both been given the ebony black leather and gray color contrast stitching treatment as well. Both the driver and passenger windows are automatic in both directions. That beeping is there to indicate that the keyless access fob has now left the vehicle. 
The 2012 Acura TL is available with a selection of two separate engines. The standard engine is a standard 3.5 liter dual overhead cam 624 valve V6, or with the advanced package and super handling all wheel drive, it's now been upgraded to Acura's 3.7 liter single overhead cam 24 valve V6, equipped with a Honda derived VTEC system. And this new 3.7 unit puts out 305 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. It's not necessarily an increase from the previous generation TL, but with this car's newly refined styling and upgraded super handling all wheel drive, it is capable of 0 to 60 miles an hour in the mid 6 second range at a top speed approaching around 155 miles an hour. Even so, EPA fuel economy estimates for the all wheel drive equipped 2012 TL with the advanced package are 18 miles per gallon city and 26 miles per gallon highway on premium or regular unleaded gas. Also, as you can see upon the vehicle's startup, the automatic daytime driving lights have already illuminated. And now let's see about a good taste of this TL's 3.7 V6 and see what kind of soundtrack she produces. Very strong and very racy engine note. Also, the throttle response is pin sharp. You just barely touch the pedal and it revs up like it is now. Overall, a very sporty yet very beautiful power plant. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. You do have the option of them being automatic as well as turn on the fog lights and the hazard lights as usual. And now let's take this opportunity to explore the newly refined exterior of the TL. The newly refined TL got a refined version of black bezeled xenon high intensity discharge projector headlights. Newer front body cladding, also keeping the Acura Shield style grille. But also the grille was made a little bit thinner for 2012, being the fact that it used to extend a little bit further down than it does now. Very smooth and curvaceous body style. With the available advanced package and super handling all wheel drive, this vehicle's now been updated with a set of 19 inch dark graphite alloy, uh, finished alloy wheels with four wheel disc brakes. Very aerodynamically shaped LED turn signal equipped monochromatic mirrors. Intermittent automatic rain sensing wipers. It's got a full power tilting automatic one touch sliding sunroof. Very lightly touched rear tail lights. The original ones were a much heavier, much more brighter red. Now these have given, been given a little bit more of a darker red tint, again, to reflect the much more luxurious image of the TL. 
Many Acura fans will also agree that the TL is pretty much the signature flagship luxury sedan. It was introduced alongside a much more full-size competition, but bringing a little bit more things like value and also a higher level of luxury, and it continues to do so today. This car was also built alongside its sister car, the RL, with the TL being the much more mid-sized vehicle at the time. It's got rear heated defrosting glass, along with a shark fin style antenna for the XM satellite radio. It's an absolutely beautiful looking vehicle. Very smooth, curvaceous lines, along with a rather affordable version of somewhat Americanized luxury. Also, with the reliability and performance of a Honda-derived vehicle. And now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and check out the interior portion of the new TL. As I said, this one has the taupe gray, rich, premium, perforated leather with ebony black accented dashboard. Signature Acura engraved door sills. Also, you've got a slight bit of what appears to be a imitation kind of carbon fiber here on the door panel. Again, adding to a little bit more of a sporty touch to the vehicle, also combined with the luxurious taste. Also, leather padded uh, side armrest and side door panel inserts. And as you would expect with a luxury vehicle of this caliber, you do get plenty of powered amenities, including both power mirrors, two person memory seating, power door locks, window locks, automatic one touch driver and passenger window in both directions, along with the rest of the power windows, and as I mentioned before, is an added safety feature, child protective safety locks. The new interior of the TL has not re necessarily received a dramatic improvement over the previous generation, from 2009 all the way up to 2011, but still you will notice various styling cues here and there that do let you know that this is not necessarily just a copy of the previous generation. Here on the steering wheel you have a multitude of buttons for different cruise control, various voice command settings, also hands-free Bluetooth, and various radio controls as I mentioned before. You've got your blind spot assist right here and you can have the ability to turn it off. You've got blind spot indicators right here in the door sills that will automatically illuminate should a vehicle appear in your blind spot that you don't see. The center stack here is actually very nicely laid out using both sets of climate controls for both the right and left hand sides and also to integrate the ELS surround sound stereo system that this advanced package comes with here in the center console. Also, this large wheel here in the center, as you'll see here in a moment, is for all of your different um, navigation, route, info, also all sorts of other things. You've also got your phone book and also various other storage capacities as well. As I mentioned with this advanced package here, you do also get the ELS surround sound stereo system. Be a good girl now, turn around and get these with You know you like it like that. You don't have to fight back. Here's a pillow fight. They hear we got swagger, but we kick them to the curb unless they look like Mick Jagger. I'm talking about everybody getting drunk. Boys try to touch my junk. Gonna start in the beginning. 
As I said, AM FM radio along with a subscription to XM Satellite Radio. Also, you have the ability to see the title of each song being played over the stereo here on the signature LCD screen as well. You've also got abilities to mute the radio. Also, your auxiliary and high definition imports here in the center console. You can see your auxiliary input with integrated iPod USB. Also, very nice and soft leather bound center console. You've also got three stage ventilated and heated seats for both the driver and passenger. Now with the navigation system, as I mentioned, this big wheel here might actually look a little complex to many at first, but it's actually quite simple to use. As you can see, you simply press the center of the wheel and it welcomes into you into your standard GPS map. And you can simply select the map via this button here. Also, you've got general vehicle information. Also other things such as active weather information, and also traffic incidences. You can also see everything around your general area. As you can see, this one is reading for a lot of the various construction in this area at this particular point in time. Go back to vehicle information. You've also got active weather information, giving you active weather forecasts and current weather at your current time. And you can also cancel any of these by pressing the cancel button to go back. Destination and route for your navigation. All very simple to use. For your climate control settings, it's got automatic air conditioning. It is a dual zone computerized system and your temperature controls are actually these little triggers right here. Pushing down introduces cooler air, Pushing up introduces hotter air. You've also got your different climate controls over here on the right, front and rear defroster along with power heated exterior mirrors, air conditioning recycling, maximum AC, your different fan controls here, along with air conditioning synchronization, which can allow the temperatures to be controlled either independently or simultaneously at the same time. Up top, as I said, you've got your automatic tilting and sliding sunroof. The sunroof and windows will also open with the automatic window roll down feature of the key fob, which simply means you unlock the vehicle, then hold the button down for just a second to retract both the sunroof as well as all four power windows. You've also got various reading lights, also a home link garage door system, and your various light amenities as well. All around, this is one absolutely stunning looking TL. For such a newly refined model, there are many of plenty of creature comforts to look at. And with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. You'll hear the steering wheel lock itself into place upon immediate turnoff of the vehicle. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the features of the TL. Very plush, premium, perforated leather. As you can see, the sides of the seats are actually quite firm, but once you start to get to the real seats, you can see exactly how plush it really is. Very nice and comfortable indeed. As far as rear legroom and overall comfort goes, it's very exceptional for a vehicle of this caliber. The rear of the seat has been contoured so that taller passengers, such as myself at six foot one inches tall, can actually rest their knees against the driver's back if for some reason the seat was a little too far back. However, in this current position, I have absolutely no problem at all fitting back here. Also at the same time, a lot more legroom thanks to a lot deeper footwells. Some sedans that might be in this category might have a flat floor that doesn't necessarily go as deep as the, as the footwells in this car, thus bringing your feet and knees sort of up closer to your chest and introducing a lot more danger if there were to be the event of an accident. It's also got a lockable fuel filler cap.
Very large and spacious trunk capacity. It does not have 60-40 split fold rear seats, only the small hole to allow for longer items to be put in. Got your signature embroidered floor mats that come standard with the vehicle. Underneath here, you have your spare tire, also your rear jack and lug nut wrench as well. The quality on this car is absolutely unbelievable. The fit and finish is absolutely fantastic. Very plush and luxury materials all over the place. Even simple things such as closing the door have quite a soft touch to them. I mean, take a listen. Yeah, this is a brand new car, granted, but just listen. Very nice. Also, that sticking sound you heard is just the protective cover here on the aluminum door sills. As far as safety features go, you get a multitude of standard airbags including side cushion mounted, side curtain, also driver impact, both front and passenger airbags. Let's go ahead and take a quick seat in the passenger side of the vehicle. Again, very extremely comfortable. Lockable glove compartment with all your various reading amenities. Very impressive vehicle overall. Very impressive indeed. A touch of Americanized luxury, again with the Honda reliability and unmatched value and luxury. So viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this rather exclusive look at the newly refined 2012 Acura TL with the super handling all-wheel drive and advanced package. If you wish to contact Mitch Churchill Acura about this particular vehicle or any of the others that you may have seen in the background of this video, please feel free to do so at MacChurchill.com. Until then, viewers, have a great day, and I will see you guys later.